In this tutorial, I'm going to look at um, preparing unmanaged documents for Team Center and specifically Solid Edge documents. So, the um, thing that we need to really sort of think about before we start is um, what prerequisites we need to do. Um, so, the um, Solid Edge data preparation utility will allow us to analyze um, files find any broken links, find duplicate document names, and scan for invalid document names. So there are some um, certain characters that Team Center won't allow you. So um, this utility will allow us to pick out those that we don't want. On top of that, you will also need to remove any documents from the folders that you want to import. Um, and also make sure that you have your solid edge properties mapped to team center attributes. So the main tools that are available to be used, um, solid edge uh, design manager. Um, in this case, I'm going to use it to take copies of assemblies and um, pull them across to a new location. So it's basically a backup um, before I get going. Uh, we can also use a solid edge property manager to make sure that the properties within the solid edge files are um, filled and correct. Then we can use the data preparation utility just to check for um, those invalid links and stuff. And finally, we'll use add to team center. So there are two options that you can sort of use. There's possibly a few more, but... Um, these are sort of the main two for bulk importing anyway. Um, one is to import an assembly and that will import any parts and sub-assemblies associated with that. The second option is to import a folder and all of its subfolders. Uh, the second option, if you've got things um, in there, then a um, little bit harder to just to analyze what you've got in there and um, for this tutorial, we're going to look at using option one and we're going to start off by using design manager to um, decide, um, take a copy of those files. So here we have our folder and if I right mouse click and open with design manager, you'll see that each of these files are listed. So we've got um, parts and sheet map files uh, what we don't see are any draft files so for this next step we can um, expand all select all and then do a where used specify the folder that you want to search in and hit next that goes through and um, as you can see here we've picked up an extra draft file, no other draft files at this stage. Um, you can see there's um, missing data as well in here. But what I'll do is a pack and go. And I want to use the copy all files to a single folder. Um, in this instance, it doesn't matter because um, when you import into Team Center, it doesn't really have any folders anyway. So um, let's just put it all into um, this folder here. So if we go save, that goes through and we'll import or um, copy all of these files and maintain links. And um, it then tells us that each of these was completed and it opens the folder here for us to um, see. So this just makes it easier to have um, all of our files into one place because then when we go into Solid Edge Data Preparation Wizard so um, in the normal Solid Edge folder you'll find the Data Preparation Utility and this will allow us to um, just double check that there aren't any um, bad links duplicates or whatever so we can set our working folder. Um, in this case, um, I've set it up under temp and called it data prep. So that's where all the um, outputs will go. So we can go in and add a folder. 
and I've got this folder here so once you've defined what you're after you just hit generate import list and that goes away and does all the data validation checks for us so once that's completed it will um, then analyze them so down here you'll see that it's analyzing files so it's going to go through and basically just double check on what properties it's got in each file and um, check for any broken links and um, invalid file names so it's just working through those files in that folder when it completes it's going to open up the um, data in our spreadsheet so here's our spreadsheet um, these are the um, four critical um, fields you can see that we've got nothing under the um, team center item type um, that needs to be item and um, we can go into the um, solid edge um, property info to um, update all that so let's just um, drop out of there for a minute okay we can also see that this one here the ped spring um, doesn't have a document number or revision so that's going to fail so this just gives us an overview of the um, properties we've also got broken links as you can see we haven't any broken links in here so um, we can close that up if we want to we can open that working folder and you can see the files that it's created in here so we have an ordered list unordered list um, and these can be used if we want to to um, bring it in so as you saw there was some um, a file that didn't have any um, document number or anything and also there is a um, another one that has um, some missing information so um, we can go back into um, our solid edge and when you have no files open you can just go into property manager um, this allows us to work with an assembly or in this case a whole folder so what we can do is we can just take all of these and add them in and when I go OK that opens up property manager um, we can see the um, different fields um, if you don't see the team center item type obviously you need to have it set to working with team center you can right mouse click on any of the headers and go to columns and turn on that team center item type so what we can do is enter item in there notice it's underlined to say that it's been changed but hasn't been updated so we can go control C and highlight the whole lot and go control V to update that and down here we've got our spring so we need to give that one a um, unique number and again it's underlined and we can copy that and paste that in and fill out the information as we go across and that's probably all we need to worry about at this stage and just check everything else is set okay so once that's done you just go save and that updates it all in the one place now that we have um, gone and done the data correction um, you want to go back and do the um, recheck with data preparation utility um, but I'll skip that stage and we'll just go straight into um, the add to team center um, don't use the interactive because that's for um, re-entering files that have been taken offline so we'll just choose the folder that we've stored all those files in and we're going to do a dry run 
Now, um, this will ask me to log on. So that's going to um, log into Team Center. So this allows us to do some um, checking against files that are already existing, and it's going to use the revision rule of working any status. And if it finds existing ones, it's going to um, prompt. So it's just going through and um, just double checking that information as it goes. And when it's complete, it will come up and um, give me a summary. So um, no errors, no warnings. Uh, we can view the log file if we want to. Um, it, if we want now we can say that we just want to continue and that will then load them in so um, it's found 26 part files four assembly files one draft file so uh, we shall just continue at this stage there are the files and um, it's now sort of adding the documents into team center so it's got each of those files listed in here. And as you can see down the bottom, it's just running through um, loading each of those files. And when it completes, it will give me the output in this bottom area down here. OK, so that's now finished loading those documents. As you can see, it did it in two passes. One was the assembly um, where it's pulled all the parts together with the assemblies and then the draft file was done separately. Now to round this off we'll just look in Team Center and if we go under new stuff you can see that all the brake assembly items have been entered here. Um, we have the um, main assembly and uh, down here we have the bracket assembly which has both the um, assembly and the draft for that assembly. So you can see that it's um, amalgamated the two under the one item. So that just um, concludes one way of going around importing data to, into Team Center using the Solid Edge tools.